Over the past eight years, right here on M2O TV, we've created all kinds of videos that are meant for both guys and gals. Well, today, listen up, ladies. This one is just for you. My name is Shay. I'm a certified professional organizer and the co-founder of Mission to Organize. In this video, we're gonna talk about organizing your bras and panties. Now, as professional organizers, we see all kinds of different setups in people's bedrooms and closets. So what I'm gonna do today is give you all different types of options that you could potentially use to organize your bras and panties. And then you can choose the one that works best for you. So listen up, ladies, and stay tuned because we're mentioning your unmentionables. Drawers are the ideal way to store your bras and panties. But since these items are so small, it's best to use a small drawer if possible. If you have one inside of your dresser, great. Dedicate it just for your bras and panties. But if you don't have a small drawer inside of your dresser, maybe you can use one of the drawers inside of your bedside table, or you can bring in another piece of furniture that has smaller drawers. If not, you can make some adjustments to your larger drawers to make this work for you. So what we would recommend is two things. There are drawer dividers. They're expandable drawer dividers. They fit in basically any drawer and it just gives you sections inside of your drawer, larger drawer, or you can use boxes. So I have a couple examples here and that I wanna show you. So first we have the box for your panties. Now this one is ideal because it has these small little sections. So as you can see, the bottom section I have folded. These are all of my larger coverage panties or granny panties, if you will. Um, I like to fold them and color coordinate them and put them into the sections. And then the thongs, I just feel like they're so small, like why bother? Um, folding them, but I do still color coordinate them and put them each in this little section. So it keeps everything nice and tight. And just like everything at Mission to Organize, we fold it um, using the files in a filing system method so that you can see all of them and pick them out very easily um, for when you need to match your uh, panties in the morning with your outfit. So next you'll find a box of bras. Now these are the more structured bras, like the padded bras. They don't really need to be folded, but I kind of like this look because it reminds me of like a store. Um, a couple things that I will recommend is that you clasp the back before you store them away. This is gonna avoid any damage or snagging of your bras. And also tuck in the straps just makes it really easy to get them in and out and it gives it a really nice look as you can see. Now, if you have bras that aren't padded and maybe they're just like lace bras like this one, what I would recommend, again, clasp the back, tuck in the straps and then simply fold it in half. Use the same method as we mentioned before. You'll see I've got all of them in here. It's kind of hard to see because they're black, but um, so you, you can see uh, everything that you have and place them in this smaller sectioned area rather than having them loosey goosey inside of a drawer and then everything is just a mess and all over the place. So bring some structure and order to your drawers using either boxes like these or drawer dividers. If you don't have boxes like these, it's okay. Try to use shoe boxes instead. You can even line them with pretty paper and make them really nice. No drawers, no problem. We've got more solutions for you. So all three of these I found at the container store. If you don't have one of those stores near you, there's lots of other places where you can find it like Target and things like that. So first we have a fabric box. Fabric boxes are great for your bras and panties because they're not gonna snag like it would on like a wicker um, box. So this one is nice and sturdy. I like it, you can grab it right off the shelf. Use the same folding techniques that I showed you earlier and just place everything inside. 
And then once you close the lid, you're gonna keep out any dust or pet hair, which is great. Now this is not a wonderful solution for everybody because some people, like especially teenagers, you put on the lid, they're like, it's out of sight, out of mind, like I'm never gonna open the lid and actually use it in that way. So you know yourself best whether you're gonna actually use a box or not, but if you do, it's gonna look really cute on your shelf. Another option is a clear shoe box. This is extremely affordable, and it's a really good option if you have bras and panties that you're not using every day. Maybe they're a special occasion type panties um, that you're only gonna use either Valentine's Day or the weekends when the kids are away or something like that. So you can place it inside of the box and put it at the top of your closet. Last but not least is a product that you've actually seen in our other videos. This is a clear uh, drawer and they stack on top of each other really nicely. I keep my swimwear in here, but it would work amazing for bras and panties. Just make sure if you're going to use this option that you store it kind of like chest level or lower so that when you open the drawer, you can actually get inside and reach everything. So again, on a shelf, it'll work at the bottom of a closet or even if you have space under the bed. So hopefully this box idea gives you some ideas of what you can do in your own space. Okay, ladies, here's one solution that you've probably never even considered. Hanging your bras and panties. Now, this isn't something that's gonna work for everybody, but we have been in closets where there's a bar and the space underneath the bar is so limited, you really couldn't even fit like a shirt or a skirt or anything like that. So if you have lots of extra hanging space and no other options for your bras and panties, this might just work for you. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different things you can do. One, you can hang a bra. Um, if you can see, this one has notches on it, so the bra is definitely not gonna fall off, super important. This next hanger was, you know, probably meant for skirt suits. <laughs> so again, it has the notch, so your bra isn't gonna fall off, but it also has um, the clips that are gonna hold on to the matching panties. And doesn't that look cute? Again, just like you're gonna see in the store, how fun. It's like you set up your bedroom like a store. Um, also, we have this one, it's just a bustier. So, the hanger is meant for skirts, but it can hold on to your bustier. And, you know, bustiers don't really fit in drawers that well anyway. It's going to take up a lot of space and it's just a little awkward. So a great option uh, to hang your bustiers. And then last but not least, this is called a bralette. Um, and it's kind of a cross between like a halter top and a bra but this would be another good option to hang inside of that short space inside of your closet. So again, not gonna work for everybody, but kind of just like a cool little thing to think about, right? It might just work for you. My final suggestion for storing your bras and panties is bagging it up. Now this might sound really unusual, but check this out. This was clearly meant to store bras and panties. And this has a drawstring. I've used this for years when I travel and it can work inside of your home as well. These bags come in all different shapes and sizes. This one is silk, you have organza. And in fact, this mini organza holds all of my extra bra straps. You can also use it to store bra extenders. And this can go right inside of your bra drawer or box or wherever you're storing them. And so you have everything all together ready to go at your fingertips when you need it. And if drawstring isn't your thing, there's all kinds of cute pouches. This one has a zipper. Again, great for traveling, but also good inside of your home. Do a little bit of research and you'll see that there are products specifically designed to help you organize your bras and panties. But we say, save your $30 and try out some of the techniques that we taught you today. It might just be exactly what you need. And you know what? You can use a lot of these tips to organize your lingerie too. Check out more organizing tips with Mission to Organize on our blog and our social media. Don't forget to subscribe to M2O TV while you're here. We can't wait to see you next time.